Are you ready to break free from the chains that have been holding you back? Join our powerful deliverance class starting on August 29th and running for a full month. This transformative experience will be held twice a week through our convenient Zoom classes, allowing you to participate from the comfort of your own home. For a registration fee of just 400 rands, you'll gain access to invaluable teachings and practical steps on how to be delivered from the spirit husband and how to destroy cases that have hindered your progress. Our expert instructors will guide you through each session, providing you with the knowledge and tools needed to reclaim your life and walk in freedom. Don't miss this opportunity to change your destiny. Register now and take the first steps towards a liberated and a blessed future. For registration, the numbers are on the screen. God bless you. What a great and uh, a blessed morning, a blessed day, a blessed afternoon. Be greeted where you are. We thank the Lord for this wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. I'm really excited for this once again another opportunity to come in with the revelational knowledge and understanding that is coming from the Word of God. My name is Pastor Tinashe Gurupira, and I'm going to be your host for the coming 21 days each and every single day at this time, uh, 8 o'clock, we are going to be meeting 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. South African time. We are going to be fed the word of God. I want you to share this broadcast to each and every person uh, that you know probably they are facing relational problems, uh, probably it's marital problems, or they cannot build anything that stands. Uh, no matter the effort, we are dealing with faulty foundations. That's what we are going to be looking at. So set your alarm, press that notification bell. Every 8 p.m., we are going to be seeking the face of the Lord together. We are going to be praying. We are going to receive the knowledge. I strongly believe without any doubt that deliverance can only come as a result of your commitment in the word hearing and application of the word you are applying that which you are receiving this is the reason why many believers uh they are stranded uh they are de uh, demotivated merely because they say but i have been praying but there's nothing that is coming out of the prayer i have been seeking the face of the lord i have been fasting pastor i go to church i even have a title but why is it my life is not changing? There is no change in my life. What is taking place? So we are going to be touching on, uh, rather let me say, sensitive uh, issues, topics, angles in your life. And some of these things you have uh, just turned a blind eye. And the devil is capitalizing uh, out of that ignorance. I love what the word of God said. Uh, my people have gone into captivity because they lack knowledge they are into captivity because they lack knowledge so in other words you pay a heavy price uh for not knowing so your prayer right now before we go into the word you are going to say lord the anointing to receive to understand and to apply your word upon my life so it's about hearing the instructions that are going to be given applying you are living according to how we are instructed by the word. And I know that you are going to be blessed. I know that the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. So for the coming 21 days from today, I want you to make sure that 8 o'clock, you are here. You are seeking the We are seeking the face of the Lord together. Then there's another post uh, that is going to be every 5 a.m., we are going to call that morning devotion, uh, destroying any power operating in my foundation. So every 5 a.m., I want you to be on this platform. We are going to start our day in seeking the face of the Lord. And all this is, uh, uh, is going to happen for the coming 21 days. So share this broadcast. Just tell somebody uh, that there is this platform where the word, the undiluted gospel, is being taught so you share this broadcast to as many people as you can i want you to invite uh, as many people as 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 you can we thank the lord before we go into the word of god i want us to uh to pray father we thank you for your grace and your power 
We thank you, Holy Spirit, for this moment and for this time. Thank you, Jehovah God. Holy Spirit, you are leading this prayer program. You are guiding us. You are guiding us. And Lord, I pray for every person joining this program that they meet you, your presence, that Lord, they have an encounter with you, that they are delivered from whatever the enemy has been doing in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now we are pleading the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ upon these 21 days of praying, these 21 days of seeking your face. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory and honor, Jehovah. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that you are releasing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We thank the Lord. We are going to uh, start our day number one. And what we are dealing with, uh, we are dealing with foundations. And I want you to understand that anything built, whether in the spirit realm or in the physical realm, there is this law of starting by laying down the foundation. Please, I want you to understand. So before we, uh, I give you some notes, please, I want you to have your Bible. I want you to have your notebook. You are going to be writing. And if there is any question, please feel free. And um, um, we have a deliverance class, uh, a new class for September that is starting on the 29th uh, of, of, uh, of August uh, to the 29th of September. So the registration fee is very minimum. I want you to make sure that you register uh, a deliverance class. We are meeting twice every week, seeking the face of the Lord. And the information there is, is, is just direct from the Holy Spirit. So I want you to be part and parcel of that uh, on the 29th of August. That's when we are starting. So uh, you can register right now. Quickly turn with me the book of Psalms. We are going to read Psalms chapter 11, uh, verse 3. The book of Psalms uh, chapter 11, and I want us to go to verse uh, 3. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I want you to look at that scripture again. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Now, I want you to look closely to this scripture. There is a righteous person, but who is clueless on what is happening in his life. Probably they are trying to, uh, you know, pray for relationships, for marriage, or financial breakthrough, but no matter how much he tries, the righteous man, I'm not talking about the wicked person, I'm talking of the righteous person, but the results are always negative. It might be you right now as a pastor, every prayer program I, that I, I hear of, I join. Every instruction given, I follow. But why is it that my life is still in this state? Why is it that I am still experiencing setbacks in my life? Why is it I'm still experiencing failure in your life? It's because you are not looking at the foundations. You are coming from somewhere. And that somewhere is the foundation. A foundation was laid Please, I want you to hear this. So you cannot build anything in the spirit realm without laying down, uh, laying a foundation first. It's in the construction field. I, I thank the Lord I had the privilege uh, of construction, uh, that exposure, the experience there. One thing that the builders are committed to or they're careful uh, when they are constructing, whether it's a building, is the foundation. Because 
the stronger the foundation, the stronger the building. So I want you to, as we are starting this prayer program, you are going to look deep into that. So if you are writing, I would want you to write this down. You cannot build anything in the spirit realm without laying on a foundation first. So in this prayer program, what is it that we are doing? I want us the first day and tomorrow, we are laying down a foundation of our lives. I'm laying down. If there is correction that is needed in my foundation, I need to do that. So the higher the building, the deeper the foundation. The cracks or the falling of the building is based on the weakness. So whatever that's happening in your life, it might be relational failures. It might be sickness that cannot be diagnosed. The, the doctors, they don't even know what it is. It might be marital problems. You are married, but the marriage is just sour. You, I want you to understand that something from the foundation is causing the cracks. Whenever you're looking at a building and the, there's a crack in the building, don't go and fix the crack. Look at where the crack is coming from, the source. So I want you to ask yourself this question. What is causing these failures in my life? What is it that is causing this poverty, this stagnation, uh, this instability in my life? And you go down there, you begin to deal with that. I don't want you just to fire prayer without studying your life more. Okay, we, just few facts that I want us to, uh, to look at, uh, probably five. If you are writing, I would want you to write this down. I'm just laying the foundation of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Please, number one, right. The reason behind the failing of relationships or marriage in your life is because your foundation does not support what you are trying to build. Hmm. Please, I, I, want you to, I want you to understand this. The reason why you are trying to build relationships the reason why you are trying to build marriage but it is failing i want you to look into the foundation what is it that was laid on my foundation what type of a life remember everything in your life is built on a foundation but does your foundation support what you are trying to build is your foundation strong enough to, to support the building of relationships, the building of marriage. Is it strong enough? Because whenever you see failure, I want you to understand that there's a fault in the foundation. And that's what we need to deal with. Number two, understand that you don't get things done because you want. But things are accomplished based on what your foundation requires. I want to repeat that. Understand because you have the zeal, I want to achieve this, I want to achieve that. But each and every time you are failing, regardless of your many efforts that you are putting, regardless of all your calculations, your qualifications, but at the end of the day, you are where you were 10 years ago. Why? Because you achieve things based on the foundation that you are trying to build something on. That's why your zeal is to uh, establish a business. Your zeal is to graduate. Your zeal is to get married. Your zeal is to have children. But those things are not happening. Why? There's something, uh, a foundation. Look here. You cannot build a 10-roomed house on a foundation that was designed according to the plan. The foundation is a two-roomed house. Things will end up falling. Things won't, won't, won't come together. They won't align. 
So I, I want you to understand you are coming back to uh, this understanding. The reason why things are failing in my life, things are falling in my life, there is something that I need to fix where? In the foundation. So we want to start from there. I don't want us to rush to, uh, you know, I claim this, I do this. I want us to do things uh, in the manner that they should be done. I want us to, uh, you know, start from uh, number one. You know, this is the funny part about construction. The aim is to raise a building up. But the first stage is to go down. The deeper you go down, the deeper you search, remove any loose soil as you are building those trenches. You are removing any loose soil. That's what I want you to do in the spirit, especially these 21 days. So this is going to be a manual for every single person, uh, a manual for everyone who is experiencing relational failures, a manual for everyone who is, fa uh, who is uh, facing marital problems. You might be mar married, but that marriage is just sour. That marriage is on another level. This is a manual. So I want you to walk with me. We are going to be praying. We are going to be seeking the face of the Lord. I want you just to be committed. There is something wrong in your foundation. That's why you are changing men in that manner. You are changing women. That's the reason why uh, you can't even conceive. That's the reason why money is a problem. That's the reason why that sickness is not coming out of your body. There's something that is wrong in the foundation. Okay, number three. Okay, just write this down. You cannot build a 10-roomed building in the foundation uh, if the foundation is of a two-bedroomed house. You just cannot. Number four, don't continue fixing the cracks appearing on the wall. All cracks always point to the foundation, going to the foundation. So this is a problem that we are, we are having. We are temporarily fixing problems as they emerge. So there's a crack on the wall, and what is it that we do? We take cement, sand, and we mix mortar. We close the crack. And after a month or two, the crack appears again. So anything that is repeating itself in your life is caused by something that's in the foundation. That's what it is. If something is, is happening, it's repeating itself. It might be rejection. It might be isolation. We are going to be talking on broader things here. I don't want you to continue to focus on, on fixing uh, uh, the cracks. Probably the, the, the girlfriend that I had, she was not good enough. Let me look for somebody who is taller fixing a crack. And you get somebody that is taller and a similar thing happens. And they say, probably, let me try somebody who is coming from a different country. You do that, the same thing is just happening. You are fixing cracks. Whenever there is a failure that is repeating itself, there is something that is in the foundation and you need to dig it out. Now, now I, I really want to repeat this example because this is very important. Whenever they are uh, digging foundation trenches, what is it? Why are they going down? Because they need to remove any loose soil. They need to start the building from a soil that is solid, that layer underground that is solid. That's why they are removing every loose soil. They are removing right around the building where they want to build. They are removing any loose soil. That's what you're doing. That's what we are doing. That's what I am doing. Anything that is loose in my foundation, I'm taking it out. So the problem is not coming from the people around you. The problem is coming from the foundation. What is causing uh, that man to, to say, I'm not going to come to marry you uh, again, is not just about the uncle who is a witch. It's about something that is in the foundation. And if you don't deal with that, you'll fetch as many bottles of anointing oil 
you you change pastors prophets you change churches and your situation will not change because you are not going to the root cause of the problem please i want you to to work with me so now wh why am i telling you this i want you to open your mind and begin to think that this problem what is it in the foundation that is causing this crack in my life this brokenness in my life what is the problem this is the prayer that you you are praying the next effect that i want you to uh look at don't be in a rush when laying down foundations any shortcut in the foundation will cause you pain later any shortcut you know uh why the real deliverance ministry is not popular the real deliverance ministry is not popular is because time investment is required work is required uh, that vomiting on the on the floor snakes coming out of your body all those things they will not guarantee your deliverance deliverance can only come when we are doing what we are supposed to do no matter how long it takes so since whatever that i am building is is it can go higher or lower based on the foundation i need to put my focus on laying down the foundation in my prayer and fasting, I need to look deeper into the, this. Am I laying down my foundation properly? Am I doing the right thing in my foundation? Am I, uh, you, you, you know, slow enough? Let me use that. I'm talking, I'm looking at the word careful enough to look into even a tiny thing that can open a door for demonic invasion in my life. A small thing. It might be a name that is wrong in my foundation that is causing unmarriedness. It might be just a totem in my life that is causing that chronic disease that you have. So it might be something so tiny, which means I must not be in a rush. Hear this very well. I must not be in a rush i need to to take my time in the foundation where i'm starting to uh, put the reinforcement the steel is it the right layer how strong is it i'm not going to lay down my foundation because i need to finish the roof i'm going to take time in the foundation because whatever i'm building is supposed to be permanent so most of our problems this is where we are too many shortcuts, even in our deliverance. Just give me uh, the anointed water or an anointed handkerchief. Or pastor, just pray for me. Or just prophesy, then I go. That's the problem. That's why you are being, uh, uh, you know, used. That's why uh, there are thieves that are taken from you. That's why you are being deceived. Because real deliverance is when it requires time investment. So now, no shortcuts, even in this prayer program. You are not going to have a shortcut. Why? Because it will always catch up with you. Ask me. I'll tell you from experience. Any shortcut, it will catch up with you. So take your time fixing your foundation. Let that book be ready. Look at this, the last point on the facts. Never build on a foundation that you are not aware of. And that's where many of us are. We are building a structure up without the understanding of the layout of the foundation or the plan. That's why things are falling down. Because probably you are building a 10-story building on a foundation that was supposed to be for uh, a, uh, a two-roomed uh, two storage. And the roof there, uh, the, what they, according to the plan, the roof is zinc, 
But the 10 story building, you are supposed to put concrete as a roof. This foundation will not sustain. And the reason is because the one building a 10 story is ignorant of what's on the, on the ground. That's where many of us are. You are building marriage, but your foundation say nobody in your generation will ever be married. And you have been trying and trying and trying and it keeps falling. You're trying and it keeps falling. You're trying and you think tomorrow is going to be better. Probably there's a different person. Probably there's a different personality. But always you are coming back to square one. It's because you are not familiar with what the foundation is. So if I know that I have a one-roomed foundation and I wish to build a 10-story building, the first thing that I, I do, because of the knowledge of the foundation, I break the foundation, the one-room foundation, and dig a proper foundation that will support where I am going. So my question, my brother, my sister, is this what you are trying to build are you aware of the foundation you are standing on <laughs> listen this is going to be exciting this is going to be just deep so you share this broadcast that's that's the least that you can do share this broadcast to as many people as you can because this will help the body of christ this will help us just to, to stop shouting, I receive ignorantly. Are you aware of the foundation that you are standing on? Okay. Let's look at signs that show uh, you are building your life on a faulty foundation. Signs that show you are building your life on a faulty foundation. It's very imperative that we we understand the signs so that we, we, can, uh, uh, we can come to a conclusion whether we are qualified for this prayer program. Number one, anything you try to do, always, anything you're trying to do is failing always. No matter how careful you are committed or determined, anything, whether it's a project, whether it's a it's a it's a it's work, probably it's a relationship, it might be academics, anything you want to do, no matter the research, no matter uh you know the resources, it will always fail. You know why? The foundation is saying. Nobody in your family will amount to anything. And you did not deal with that. Or failure at an edge, at a verge, at an edge of breakthrough. You always fail. Or you are the first not to have. Everything you, you know, you calculated very well. And uh, the man is saying that I'm coming to marry. And all of a sudden, he dies. Or all of a sudden, he changes his mind. Or all of a sudden, the, the, the mother or the father say, you cannot marry from that tribe. <laughs> you have been praying for this relationship probably for four or five years. You have been praying. And the day that he comes and says, listen, this is what I want to commit. That's, that's the day that everything will break loose. So anything you try to do, it does not work. Something is wrong in the foundation. Now, now listen, listen, church. I want you to learn how to question everything that is happening in your life. Why do I always fail? No matter how much, uh, you know, uh, I'm committed to this. Why do I always fail? You are failing because your foundation, deal with the foundation, your foundation. Okay, number two, you attract the wrong people in your life. You are, the people that are coming in your life, they're always coming to take. 
not to give, not to add. If you have friends like that, something is wrong. I remember we were we were counseling uh, one of our daughters, and she said, uh, "Every man that comes in my life, financially, I support them, and later they will just leave me like that. Financially, whether it's paying rentals, buying whatever, I support them financially, and they will not give me even a single cent." Then later, they go. Because remember this spirit, fault in your foundation, it, it makes sure that you will not rise up if the foundation is a foundation of unmarriedness, if the foundation is a foundation of poverty, it will make sure that it releases devouring spirit, even if you can receive. Something will just happen that will take it out. So look around you as we are dealing. What nature of people are surrounding me do they give as i give or they are just takers number three in relationship people are so committed uh, uh, and so loving at the early stages they are so committed they are loving you but later they just lose hope <laughs> You know, whereby you know that this woman, she loved me. When she came, she was she 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 was there. But right now, mm -mm. and they they go like that. And another one will come, fire, fire. Gradually, the fire is dying down. That man, the very first day, the first week, he proposed and said, "You know what?" Listen, can you be my wife? But later on, they just the love is gradually dying down. Not because you are doing something wrong. Mm -mm. There is something in the foundation that says no marriage in your life. And that's what is it, 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 it always fight relationships. Or you are given people that cannot commit. I think we touched on these things uh, on our on our other teachings um, about spirit husband. The people that are coming in your life, they cannot commit. Either they are drunkards or they are extremely poor that they cannot commit or they are married people. Or they are hiding something. Or oh, they are psychos. Listen, why am I telling you this science? I want you to look into your life and begin to ask questions. Begin to ask questions. Why is this happening in my life? Why is this happening in my life? Why is this repeating itself in my life? And you, you rise up. You don't have to pour anointing oil in the foundation. No, you deal with the foundation. We are going to be looking into that. Number four, money cannot stay in your hands. Something is wrong in the foundation. Either uh, an accident from something terrible or, or always happens. When you have money, whether it's accidents, uh, whether it's uh, 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 somebody is sick and all the money will go there, or scammers will just come and take everything out, or a reckless buying, and it goes down. Every time you have uh, money or a girlfriend, you, you meet a new girlfriend and she will take everything, or a new boyfriend and will take everything. People are always coming into your life whenever you have money and they go when it's finished. Something in the foundation. Number five, you cannot stay at one position for the longest time. Whether it's work, you keep on changing uh, you know, your work. Business, you try this today. Tomorrow you are in another venture. 
relationship that's the same. You, you, you are in this relationship. It does not last. You go into another. Now, understand this. Even your residential place, there are people that they move every month. And they are moving for a new, into a new place. Every month, and no stability. So the enemy understand that law. Where you spend more time, if you remain at one position, not as stagnation, no. Doing this one thing, whether it's a business, you will start to develop roots. And this is how you grow. So it's in relationship. So it's in marriage. So it's in a business. You are doing this one thing over and over again. You are at one position. Roots will start to develop. That's how fruits will start to come. So the enemy wants to uproot you, that foundation. It wants to uproot you before roots are developed. That's why now withering will start to happen in your life. Dryness will start to happen in your life. Number six, you cannot finish anything you start. Whether it's a project, whether it's a prayer program, like this one. On day number 18, you feel like, you know what, let me just leave this. Or you are so tired, or you just get busy. You just cannot finish anything that you are starting. Then you know. You know already, there is something in my foundation. So it might be relationship, it might be work. Number seven, profitless hard working. You work so hard, but there is no profit coming out of it. You, you are so committed. You are a hard worker. You are not lazy. But if, if we are to ask you of all these hard, I mean, all these years that you have worked, what did you produce? You can't point it. Don't blame yourself. Don't, don't curse yourself. You did not know because you did not know that there's something in the foundation that is stealing from you. I've heard people that say, you know what? I've been working for years. I've worked for 10 years. I've worked for 25 years. I've worked for, but I, 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 if I am to die now, there is nothing that, to show out of my hard work. There is nothing. Even, even if you to show me a, a, a small house, there's nothing. What is the problem? There's something in the foundation that is working against your life. Very, very important. So I want you to, you are questioning. This is, the, this is the, where I want us to, to look at. You are questioning everything. Why is it I work so hard? I think I gave an... Uh, an example at some point, and I said, uh, um, I know of a guy, hardworking like ever. 6 a.m. is up. 12 midnight is coming back to sleep. 6 a.m. is up. 12 midnight is coming to sleep. But at the end of the day, you ask him, can I have just this small amount? He does not have. He's borrowing each and every time. Listen, when you are a hard worker, you must see your produce. Hard working, it pays. If it's not paying, there is something that is taking from the foundation. The last thing, then we are going to go into the word. Hopelessness or aimless. You don't see light. You don't see your purpose. You don't see where you're going. You have no idea where you're coming from. Please, I want this teaching to bring encouragement, not condemnation. I want you to understand that the reason why you are listening to this teaching right now is day one. The Lord wants to do something in your life. So I, 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 he can restore the years that were taken, eaten by the grasshopper. All that you have to do is to begin to lay the foundation in the right manner. So you, probably you don't see where you are going. When you try to think about the future, you don't see tomorrow. They, you, you're just living for today. No goals in your life. No purpose in your life. Then there's something in the foundation. I want us to go the book of Job chapter 8. 
Job chapter 8. Uh, we are going to read verse 8 to 10. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, right now, I want you to do it. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to share this broadcast to as many people as you can. This information is really required. The book of Job chapter 8, and we are reading uh, from verse 8 uh, to 10. I shall read. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are a shadow. Shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart. Their heart. May God bless uh, the reading of his word. So now remember we are talking about foundations and now we are getting deeper. We're just preparing you. We are getting deeper now. You are coming from somewhere. And I want you to launch your prayers from that location that you are coming from. I want to repeat that. Let your prayers be launched. You know, whenever you are rectifying things today, you must rectify them not from today but from the past. Deliverance, you are always praying from the past. We are from yesterday. We are in those days are in a shadow. It's your duty for you to bring light into those days because the reason why you are captured, the reason why things are happening the way that they are happening is merely because of something that is a mystery where you're coming from. So three things, whenever we are talking about foundations, we need to look deeper into these three areas. Number one, the primitive time of your life. What happened when you were in your mother's womb? Or early childhood years. What took place that probably I am paying the price? Right now. We are not in a rush. We have 21 days of, of seeking the face of the Lord. We are not in a rush. The primitive time of your life. When you were in your uh, mother's womb. Because those are uh, foundational uh, stage or years in your life. What happened? Where did she go? What did she drink? What did she take? Which altar did she go to? Did she visit it? How was I conceived? Who was speaking in a life? So now, Remember, whatever that is happening right now, repeatedly, it's in the foundation. Unless you deal with the foundation, you remain at one position. So, I want you to, uh, uh, to look at uh, when, when you were in your mother's womb, uh, what really happened? The early childhood times. That's why you see uh, early childhood times, this is where Many young girls, they are molested, they are raped. The devil knows exactly, strategically what he is doing. It's not about just this person who is raping a child. There is something that the enemy is laying on the foundation for this person. The evil places your parents visited. The abuse that took place in your life. I'm talking of violations. Many people that are suffering rejection, isolation, chronic diseases, you find out that they were violated, they were defiled at an early stage in their life. Probably it was a relative. Probably it was a neighbor. 
There was a reason why the devil was doing that because he wanted to lay down a shaky foundation and they are paying the price right now. Number two. So number one, you are looking at the primitive time uh, in your life. Number two, what your father did or who he was. Remember, uh, we are told there here in the book of uh, Job ch chapter 8, he said that, uh, prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. For inquire, I pray thee, I beg you, find out who was your father. What did he believe in? Who was he? Tell me about his, uh, uh, his character. Did he shed innocent blood? My forefathers, did they kill? Did they share, uh, shed an innocent blood? Did they break hearts? <laughs> Many people right now, you find out that the spirit husband is not going. Yet it's not a spirit husband, but it's a case that was pronounced in your blood. Probably your father pregnated somebody and they said, I don't want to see you. And that woman was crying. Tears were shed, and the, you, she was uttering words, and he never dealt with that. And now those cases, they entered into the blood, and that's what you are paying for right now. Every relationship that you are going to, it's all tears. You wonder, but what is the problem, Pastor? Any man that's coming in your life, they'll butcher your heart. You, fight, you wonder, but what is the problem? No matter how good I am, why is it I'm paid in this manner? Somebody spoke because of my father's actions. That's what we are dealing with in this prayer program. Because we are looking into things like that. I want us, we are looking into things like that. So before we pray, because I, I want you to know there's always, uh, there will be always a teaching and a prayer attached to a teaching, even though it's going to be a separate video. So I want you to make sure that you are, you are glued to the prayers as well. Okay. Was he a thief? Tell me about his behavior. Because through his behavior, you are going to find out uh, this type of seeds that he saw. Through his character, you are going to start to look at uh, the, 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 the laws that he bridged. Prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. When I'm saying father, I'm, I'm, to, I'm using this word in, in, interchangeably, uh, referring to your mother as well, your parents. Who were they? Are you able? To answer that question, who were they? Number three. So number one, we said whenever we are dealing uh, uh, with foundations, we need to look deeper into these three areas. Number one, the primitive time of your life. Number two, what your father did or who he was. Number three, the beliefs of your forefathers. The beliefs of your forefathers. Who did they worship? What God did they bow down to? If that's the right English word. Were they into ancestral worship? Tell me about them. The covenants that they entered into. Remember, we are laying down a foundation. So if he's into, they were into ancestral worship, and I always say this, uh, you know, most part of the African nations, there is a generation that did not even know the Lord. They were deep into ancestral worship. They were uh, into, into occultism. They were into sex and uh, all these things that they were doing. And if you are not, you did not deal with that part of the foundation, you find out that 
your life there are things that will repeat themselves over and over and over and over again how to correct faulty foundations in my life how to correct a faulty foundations uh in my life i want us to uh, we are going to continue uh with the prayer so there's a uh, part two of this uh on this first day as well uh, so I, I don't want us our i don't want our our teaching to be longer than an hour otherwise you will lose track so uh soon after this we are going to touch into how to correct faulty foundation but before uh before we go to part two i want you to pray and say lord open my eyes i want you to invite the holy spirit remember i said this is not a social gathering there's a manual there in the comfort of your house you are saying jehovah god open my eyes according to all these facts that have been listed open my eyes oh god that's your prayer open my eyes i'm talking of your your spiritual eyes may i begin to see any faulty in my foundation and give me the ability to apply i want you to open your mouth where you are just begin to pray father thank you for your grace thank you holy spirit thank you jehovah god in the mighty name of jesus open our eyes oh god open our eyes open our eyes oh lord open our eyes holy spirit you are visiting the foundation uh, where my life is built on in the mighty name of jesus christ i want you to continue praying you are saying jehovah god the anointing oh god the anointing of persisting of persistence the anointing upon my life oh god to persist even uh with this prayer program in the mighty name of jesus christ i want you to continue praying continue praying in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ the anointing to see in the spirit realm jehovah god every spirit causing ignorance in my life let it be broken by the power of the almighty god in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ any fault in my foundation let it be corrected in jesus mighty name amen we thank the lord uh watch out for part two we are still in day one listen every friday uh we are meeting we have a service a zoom service uh, i think the details uh, are on the screen i want you to join us every friday from eight o'clock to nine o'clock i want you to join our zoom service and every sunday from one o'clock to two o'clock i want you to join us as well uh, as we are going to be seeking the face of the lord and all these services are done on zoom listen you are going to there's no any other option there's no any other excuse that you can give and say you know what i don't have money for takes to go to church listen there is the church just download if you don't have a zoom application on your phone you download it love you so much may the lord bless you are you ready to break free from the chains that have been holding you back join our powerful deliverance class starting on august 29th and running for a full month this transformative experience will be held twice a week through our convenient Zoom classes, allowing you to participate from the comfort of your own home. For a registration fee of just 400 rands, you'll gain access to invaluable teachings and practical steps on how to be delivered from the spirit husband and how to destroy cases that have hindered your progress. Our expert instructors will guide you through each session, providing you with the knowledge and tools needed to reclaim your life and walk in freedom. Don't miss this opportunity to change your destiny. Register now and take the first steps towards a liberated and a blessed future. For registration, the numbers are on the screen. God bless you.